Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to customize the toolbar in Roots Magic. Now, the toolbar is basically a set of shortcuts. It's these buttons across the top. And you can add your own buttons to this toolbar, uh, delete buttons, you can rearrange the buttons, and we're going to show you how to do that. Now, these buttons are actually shortcuts for items that are already in the menu. So, for example, under File, I can create a new file, I can open a file, but I can also create and add buttons onto this toolbar that do the same thing so I don't have to dig through the menu. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that, how to customize your toolbar. What you'll do is you'll point at the toolbar and you'll click your right mouse button, not the button that selects something, but the other one, the right mouse, and you're going to choose Customize. And when you do that, Roots Magic is going to bring up this customize screen with several tabs. And the tab we're interested in is the commands. And that tab is going to list the various commands, the various buttons that we can add to the toolbar. Now, they're broken down by category. So we have file commands, we have edit commands, we have list commands, we have add commands. And these categories uh, roughly correspond to the menu, file, edit, lists, add file, edit, list, add, and so on. And so if you know where in the menu the command that you want is, it makes it easy for you to go ahead and find that. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and click on Tools. And let's say we wanted the Gazetteer. Okay, that's a menu item under the Tools. Uh, let's say we wanted this Gazetteer button up on the toolbar. Well, all I have to do is, when this is open, click on Gazetteer and hold my mouse button and drag it to the toolbar. And when it gets to the toolbar, you'll notice there's a little, uh, a little vertical black line as I drag it. And that's showing where it's going to put this button when I let go of the mouse. So let's say I happen to want it right there. When I let go, I now have my Gazetteer button on the toolbar. Now, as long as this screen is open, I can come up here and I can rearrange any of these buttons. So if I decide I actually want that a little farther forward, I can click and drag that over there and rearrange that. Let's say there's a button that I don't want to use. Let's say I don't ever plan on doing any merging. Well, I can click on that Merge button and drag it off the toolbar. And you'll notice that as I drag it, it puts a little X when I've dragged it off the toolbar. When I let go, that button is now off the toolbar. Okay, so that's how you can add a button to the toolbar and also take one off. If you decide you want that manual merge button back on the toolbar, just come back in here and click and drag it right back up there and you can put it back up. Okay, so now you can also, as I mentioned, you can click and rearrange these as well. Now, let's say you happen to want to group these. You'll notice that Roots Magic groups buttons by putting this little vertical line in between certain groups. Well, the, the customizing lets you add those yourself, and the way you do that is you decide where you want that vertical bar to be, and then you're just going to click the button to the right of that and drag it just a little bit, and Roots Magic will insert that. So let's say we wanted one of these vertical lines in between this little set of books, that's the publisher, and the Find Everything. Let's say we wanted a vertical line right there. Well, I'll just click and drag it just a little bit to the right and let go and you can see it's added that. If I want to get rid of it I can click and drag it back a little bit there and it will get rid of that. So you can just experiment with that just kind of just kind of gently drag it over. You don't want to drag it too far because if you drag the button past the button on the other side then it just moves the button. It doesn't leave the little the little space. So you can just sit there and move it back and forth in order to actually add or delete those little spacers. Okay, let's show you one um, one other thing here on the on the toolbar. If I go to the toolbars, you'll notice that I actually have uh, the main menu. And that's this menu right up here, and that cannot be turned on, can't be edited, can't be changed. This toolbar right here is the toolbar we're looking at, and I can actually uncheck that and make the toolbar disappear. Now, I don't advise you to do that, but if you wanted to, you can, and if you check it, you can have that come right back. 
But what's really neat is if you wanted to create a second toolbar, you can do that as well. I can come up here and click on New, and I'm going to call this my custom toolbar. Click OK, and Roots Magic adds another little blank toolbar right here. And that can be customized exactly the same way. So if I come back over here, I can say, OK, I want this to be just a bunch of file commands. So I'm going to add new, and I've already got new, but I can, I'm going to go ahead and add all of these file tool. So backup. Let's go ahead and add import. We can add export. Okay, we can add, so we can add all of those, and, let, and, and let, we're fine with that. Now, once we've done that, you'll notice that the toolbars have a little, a little set, a vertical set of dotted lines right there. And what those do is let me actually move the toolbar. So I could bring this and bring it up onto that same line. But likewise, I could actually bring it over here against the left side. So I can have a toolbar across the top. I can have a toolbar across the side. When I go into the toolbars for customize, I can turn that on or off. So I can make that visible or invisible. Okay, let's say I decide I don't want that after all. I can delete that toolbar. And it's asking, am I sure? I'm going to say yes, and it's deleted that toolbar. Now you'll notice you can't delete the main toolbar. That The main toolbar is protected. It's right there. But let's say that you decide that you, you've been messing around with this and you, you messed something up and you just wish it was back the way it normally was. All you have to do is in the list, highlight toolbar and say reset that. When you click reset, OK, and it's going to set that toolbar back to the default settings that you had uh, when you first started the program. So I hope you've um, enjoyed this, uh, but that's how you can actually go in and customize your toolbar so that you can uh, add the commands you want, put the commands in the order you want, uh, and take, take commands off the toolbar uh, if they're ones that you're not going to use.